Here are some more cool websites I found from my powerful websites you should know series. And some of them almost feel illegal. And for the first one, did you know if you go to this website right here, you can find this free and open source resume builder to find your next job. Just create a new resume or import an existing one. I'm gonna go with my existing one right here. And now just select a template from the right hand side. Let's go with this one. And as you type in your information on the left hand side, it'll update live on your preview. So let's say I'm the CEO of the internet. And you can see it updated right here. And from a location, 42 Wallaby Way right there and you can just scroll down to update different sections of your resume and on the right hand side you can update your resume using custom css or just pick different themes typography and even update your layout so let's say i want to move my education up higher now they'll know i graduated from the south Harmon institute of technology and when you're ready to download just hit this button right here and i can download it as a pdf and for the next one did you know if you go to this website not only can you use this random recipe generator so let's say i'm keto and I wanna eat 2000 calories in three meals. And if I hit generate, it'll generate me a daily meal plan fitting those calories. But also if I find a recipe online that just has way too much backstory in it and I have to scroll for so long before I actually get into the recipe, I can just copy the URL up top. And if I go back to this website, I can hit the only the recipe button up at the top right. And then I can paste in the URL that I just copied. And if I hit generate, It'll show me the recipe without all the fluff along with the ingredients and the steps. And I can even just bump up the servings if I need to, or let's just say I'm eating alone. And there we go, now I can print this out. If you go to this website, you can start creating your dream room or house. Just select the type of room you're trying to design. Let's go with the bedroom and let's make it a little bigger here. And if you go in the top left, you can start customizing your room or house. Let's go with some furnishing here. And we obviously need this storage bed. So let's add that to our project. Let's drop it right in the middle. And once you're done designing your room, you can take a screenshot up here, 360 or just a regular screenshot. Or you can go down at the bottom and actually hit 3D and you're able to get a 3D render of your house. You can also click this foot button down below and now you're able to scroll around your house or room and get a 3D render of the entire thing. So let's walk over here, open the door. And let's go into the kitchen. Easy. And for the next one, if you go to this website right here, you can find these funny prank screens that you can use to play a joke on your friends. For instance, they have this hacker one where you'll be able to just start banging on your keyboard and it'll make it look like you're one of those terrible hackers from a movie scene where they're trying to break into a computer. We can open up our password cracker in the top right. Let's start the brute force attack. And then now let's do our Bitcoin miner. They also have this FBI lock one or this virus one where you can just open it up and then put your computer in full screen and it'll make it look like their computer got hacked. But there's also some other pranks you can do like this screenshot one where you'll be able to create fake screenshots on different platforms like Android, iPhone, Facebook. I'm gonna go with Twitter. And then from here, you can edit your friend's name. Who's gonna send it to you? I'm gonna go with Ellen. And then we're gonna pick Ellen Musk's pit profile picture. And let's change it to Elon Musk as the handle. And now I can start sending and receiving messages from him or myself. So let's send him, hey. And he's gonna reply with, would you like to be the CEO of Twitter? And I hit receive and now it looks like we had a conversation. Now I can just screenshot it and send it to my friends. And one last cool feature they have are these fake update screens, but they don't have Windows 11 yet. So what I do recommend is if you go to mcstumble.com, my website, by the way, then you click on the top right and then go to tools. You can find this fake OS loading screen and it actually has Windows 11. So let's go with that. Now let's make the duration all the way. And if I hit start and full screen, it'll look like my computer's updating. And now I can go take a break from work. And now if you go to this website right here, you're able to type in the prompt for anything you want. So let's go with Anime Houses with Nature in the Background. And if I hit generate, it'll generate you an entire alphabet based on that prompt. You can even download each individual letter. Or if you go up to the top, you can type in a sentence you want. Let's do like and subscribe. Let's zoom in a little bit. And now I can download that picture. And now you'll be able to use this for your future ransom letters. They also have another cool text tool if you go to this website and they have tons of tools for you, whether you're a writer or a rapper. Let's just go with this acronym tool. Now I can just type in a word. Let's go with Trump. 
If I hit run, it'll create me a bunch of acronyms based on that word that I typed in. So it says trusting, reliable, understanding makes progress. But they also have other cool tools that you could play around with like fuse, acronym, alliteration, but let's go with explode. And if you type in a word here, I'm gonna go with serendipity. It'll show you some phrases that sound like that word, which may be good if you're a rapper. So let's see, serene dip tea, serenaded p diddy, okay. But another thing you can do is if you're terrible at cooking like I am, you can search for this on Google and then click on this link right here. And it'll pop up with this random topic of different things you can cook. Like I want a main course for three people mixing influences from the Netherlands and what is this Burkina? I've never even heard of that country, but you can also hit a random recipe or if you want, you can specify by clicking on these orange text right here to what you want to cook. So let's get rid of dessert and let's go main course for one person. And I'm from Italy and Mexico. And you can also select these diet options right here if you're a vegan, vegetarian, or gluten-free or add ingredients. So let's add pita cheese and we'll keep this the same. And if I hit let's cook right now, let's cook chat. It'll generate me a random recipe inspired from both of the countries I selected and use the ingredients and filters that I picked. So it did generate me a random picture using Google AI, but that still looks pretty good. And we got a jerk chicken tostada with feta lime crema. And it gives us all the ingredients. It says it's gonna serve one with a time of 55 minutes and it tells us all the instructions. And for the last one, if you go to this website right here, You'll be able to find great movie recommendations based on movies you already like. So just type in the name of a movie to find it on the map right here. Let's go with The Matrix, maybe the greatest movie of all time. It'll generate you this movie map that shows you similar movies based on the movie you typed in. So the closer it is to the movie you typed in, the more similar it is to that movie. So Star Wars is right here and it definitely recommends that one for us. But we can also go way outside and we have V for Vendetta over here. In Field of Dreams, I definitely am a sports fan, but how is that related to The Matrix? But if you click on it, it'll give you another map for that movie. Easy.